Hello and welcome back to Biker Stuff. Today I have something a little different to show you. Last month our bike club had a visit from Hellite, the makers of airbag jackets. They brought along their latest product, an airbag rucksack, so I bought one. <laughs> Actually I bought two, I didn't want Gary to miss out. Biker Stuffs Motorcycle Channel Most people know about motorcycle airbags. They are over jackets that either clip to your bike or use GPS to know when you've fallen off, which is some kind of magic. <laughs> well, they now have this rucksack. This works in the same way as the jackets do. If you are thrown from your bike, the airbag is deployed and you land on a pillow of air. Hmm. <laughs> Ryan from Fortnite gives a good explanation on how they work, so I will leave a link to his video in the description. I am going to use this rucksack for the next couple of months and come back to you with my opinion to what it is like to live with. But first, let me show you around it to see what you get for your money. It comes in two parts. There is the airbag and there is the rucksack. And I will start with the rucksack. It has two compartments, this small one and the main one, plus a zipped phone holder at the top. I think you could probably get a laptop in the main compartment, which has an elasticated Velcro strap to hold it in. On the other side, there are three compartments of various sizes, and of course, the big one down the middle. The main body can be expanded if you need extra storage space. They say it goes from 18 to 23 litres. This small compartment has a zip bag, two little holders and a velcroed pouch at the top. There are two hidden extras. On the top is a waterproof cover and at the bottom is a helmet holder. So when you're at an event, you can pop your helmet in it and walk around with your hands free. At the top there is a handle should you want to take your airbag off and carry it or simply detach the rucksack and carry it separately. But let's say you don't want to take a rucksack with you all the time but you obviously do want to wear your airbag. The rucksack unzips and tucked up inside is a replacement cover that zips over where the rucksack used to go. 
In here is a pouch and this hook for holding an aqua pack, but sadly, Helite do not offer one as an extra, so you'll need to find one yourself that fits. Under this zip is the back protector, which does look quite impressive. On the front is the CO2 canister. This one is the manual version which clips to the bike via this lanyard. The electronic GPS version has the same layout just without the lanyard, I believe. Something that would have been a nice touch and isn't included is a spare canister, especially when you are paying £650 for this one or 775 for the electronic version. Unfortunately, I can't show you how you would change the bottle if it ever goes off because Helite were out of stock of the tools and use a manual when they sent me the rucksack. When I make my follow on video, hopefully by then I will have the missing parts so I can show you how it is done. Sorry to interrupt, but if you like this video, maybe give it a like. <laughs> and if you think you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring my bell so that you won't miss anything else from Biker Stuff. If I were to get thrown from the bike, the lanyard will pull on the trigger, which will puncture the bottle and inflate the body of the rucksack. It will expand to protect your chest and support your helmet, so you shouldn't break a collarbone or get whiplash. This expands all the way around. At the bottom, this part will shoot out and protect your lumbar region, or your bottom, or whatever you call it. At the front, on the bottom of the straps, they also pop out and will expand with air. On the strap, you have these two upper clips, but they do not adjust. However, the lower ones on the side do. They come with an elasticated holder, so once you have set it to the correct size, you can roll up the remains and wrap it to stop it flapping around as you ride along. Let me see how it fits. Now, obviously, I would normally have my jacket on, so it will appear rather baggy, but I think you will get a good idea. As I mentioned, once I've used this for a couple of months, I will make a follow-on video where I can show you how to attach the lanyard to the bike that is mentioned in the missing manual. Plus, I will give you my review on what it's like to live with, getting on and off the bike, how weather resistant it is, and so on. In conclusion, if you buy one, make sure you get the user guide and tools. Plus, ask them if you can have a free CO2 bottle. 
let's be honest, it isn't going to financially ruin them. And then at least you will have one in case you accidentally set yours off. Thank you for watching. I know you liked it, so tell your friends and I'll see you here next time on Biker Stuff.